course, this theory of practice problem too. Let's check this out. So we're going to read the problem and take all of the information out of it. Course to steer practice problem two. And we read the problem. While on a course of 321 true, a light bears seven degrees on the starboard bow at a distance of 9.7 miles. There's a bunch of information in there. Let's check it out. So the first thing it gave us, while on course 321, course, we're given our course equal to 321 degrees true 321 321 a light bears seven degrees on the starboard bow so it gave us a bearing equal to seven degrees on the starboard side and how far away was it it gave us a distance 9.7 miles so the distance to the bearing was 9.7 nautical miles what course should you steer to pass 3.5 miles of beam of the light, leaving it to starboard? Okay, so it wants to know course to steer. That was the question. And to pass 3.5 miles of beam, so it gave us another distance. It gave us a distance, a beam, of 3.5 miles. 3.5 nautical miles. I always write nautical miles. It's a habit that I have leaving it to starboard 3.5 nautical miles to starboard okay so now it wants us to figure out course to steer so we need to take our course account for the bearing and then account for the this distance to starboard and to do that we're going to start with a triangle and 321 right so 90 180 270, 321 is somewhere here, right? We're going to be like, whoop, 321. And this is, this is actually going to be for the bearing. And we see that light out here somewhere, right? So we're seeing that light 9.7 miles away, and it's somewhere around 321. And we want to leave it 3.5 nautical miles to starboard. So our second line of the triangle needs to leave this this light that we took a bearing on is starboard. So it's going to be over here, right? This is our ship. Here's our starboard side. So we're going to be something like this. And now it said we leave it a beam, which means it's perpendicular. It's 90 degrees. So that means we have a right triangle, right? And we can get some information from that. So now here's our bearing with the light. Now we're going to be over here. Our intention is to be here and leave it to starboard, which makes this 90 degrees. And then it gives us two distances, right? The bearing is, the distance of the bearing is 9.7. So from here to here is 9.7 nautical miles. And then it gives us another distance. We want to leave it 3.5 nautical miles to starboard. So double check, we're to starboard. This is going to be 3.5 nautical miles. Now that we have these two distances, our calculator can actually tell us what this angle is. And we're going to call this angle theta, just because. So let's find this. We have a formula that we just plug into our calculators. Don't get weirded out by the formula. It's just buttons on your calculator, right? So we say theta equals sine negative one times opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, opposite over hypotenuse, what are those? Well, we're all relative to this angle. This is opposite. So this one's gonna be the O. And then across from the 90 degrees is the hypotenuse. So this one's gonna be the hypotenuse. Now we have, we can plug these in. And we say sine negative one, opposite 3.5 over the hypotenuse, 9.7. And your calculator will make quick work of this. So check we, this out. We clear this out, maybe turn it on, clear it, and we just <clears throat> get this button. It says second, see that little second comes up? 
And then this sign button, see the blue? Sign negative one, that's what we need. Sign negative one. And now we just put in a division problem. 3.5 divided by 9.7. 3.5 divided by 9.7 equals 21.15. We're going to round to the nearest degree. See that? We're in degrees. So 21 degrees. 21 degrees. That's this angle right here. It equals 21 degrees. Now, this is the conceptual part. It's a little bit weird to keep straight, but bear with me. It's not that bad. Imagine a, com a compass. Here's our compass, right? 0, 90, 180, 270, right? Keep that in mind because we're going to take our course and correct it for the bearing and for this theta here, and we're going to get the course to steer to leave this thing 3.5 miles to starboard. Start with 321. That's our course. 321 degrees true equals our course. Okay, and now we need to account for the bearing. The bearing is seven degrees. Seven degrees was the bearing. I'm only writing these so we can keep them all straight. Do we add or subtract this bearing? How do we figure that out? We're 321 and we see seven degrees on our starboard. So if we're 321, seven degrees on our starboard side, we need to turn toward it, right? So seven degrees on our starboard side. When we turn that way, what are we doing? We're getting closer to 360. From 270 to 360, we're gonna add. We're gonna add that seven. 321, one and seven is eight. Two and zero, three and zero. 328 degrees true. Okay, and that, is going to be the this line towards our bearing. This would be 328. Okay, and now we need to correct for the course. 21. All right, so we're going to either add or subtract this. Let's figure it out. 21 degrees. So we need to leave this thing 21 degrees. We already took the 7 for the bearing. Now we're at 328 like this, and we need to correct 21 degrees that thing, we need to leave it to starboard. So if we're here at 228 and we need to leave that thing 21 degrees to starboard, we're going to have to go down. So, it, so we leave it on our starboard. This is the starboard side. So we subtract. So 8 minus 1, 7. 2 minus 2 is 0. 307 degrees true equals our course to steer. Let's check. Make sure we got it. Well, I see 307B. 307. Let's make sure it's right. 2B. Right there. Course to steer. Practice problem 2. Comes out to 307 true as the course to steer. And go on to number three.